Welcome to Beat Sessions Episode 5 presented by Project Generation D. I'm your host, Nobody Famous, and in this episode I'm going to go over how to use Isotope's new stutter edit in Ableton Live to get some cool stutter effects. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is drag stutter edit from your VST folder into an audio track. In this particular beat that I made, I'm using stutter edit on track 1 which is called sample 1. The next thing you do is create a MIDI track. I label mine stutter so I know which MIDI track is sending a signal to the audio track that has stutter edit in it. After that, go down to monitor and change the mode from auto to in and change your MIDI 2 to whichever track you have stutter edit on. And my beat is sample 1 and then I also select the isotope stutter edit because there's other instruments in that same channel. You also want to make sure that your MIDI track is armed to record at all times, even during playback. After you take these steps, you're all set up and ready to go. You can use any MIDI device to send a signal to your stutter edit to create all kinds of cool stutter edits. There's a lot of cool presets that come with the program and you can also create your own. Once you're done, you sound something like this. 